Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Happy Sunday to you. We thank God for another glorious day in the presence of God. We give God all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. This is every word of God for daily living. Let's pray. Precious Father, Lord, I bless you. I give you glory. I give you honor. Lord, there's no like unto you. Blessed be your holy name, Lord Jesus. Be exalted, O God. Thank you, Father, for our lives. Thank you, Lord, for all you have done for us. Oh, Lord, you are so good, O Lord. Thank you for dying for us on the cross of Calvary. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. For great is your faithfulness to us, us O Lord. Thank you, Lord. Day by day, O Lord, week by week, O Lord Jesus, you are seeing us true, O Lord. Oh, we are seeing the last Sunday of May, O oh Lord, is only by your mercy. Be exalted, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Ship your Lord Jesus. I bless you, Lord. We give you glory in the name of Jesus. Lord, you reign over principality. Jesus. Jesus. Lord, you reign over all authority, Jesus, Jesus the righteous. Let's sing it again. Lord, you reign over principality, you are Jesus, that's your name, Lord Jesus. Lord, you reign, Lord, you reign over all authority, oh Jesus, Jesus, the righteous. Lord, we sing, Jesus. We call you Jesus, that's who you are, Lord Jesus. You reign over all. Your name is Jesus. Lord, I bless you, Jesus. I love you, Lord Jesus. You reign over Let's call his name Jesus. He's a healer. Jesus, Almighty Father. Jesus, you reign over all. I call you Jesus. Waymaker. Jesus, our loving Father. Jesus. Jesus, you reign over all. Lord, you reign over principality. Lord Jesus, Jesus, we call you Jesus. You reign, Lord, Lord, you reign over oh, your name is Jesus, Jesus the righteous. I call you Lord Jesus, that's who you are, Jesus, my faithful father, Jesus, you reign over all, you are my Jesus, not like you, Jesus, we worship you, Lord, Jesus, you reign over all, let's sing it one more night, Jesus, Jesus, you are good, Jesus, a powerful Lord, Jesus, you reign I call you Jesus, 
my redeemer jesus soon coming king jesus you reign over all jesus you reign over all Jesus, you are Lord. You are life. You are King. Alpha and Omega, beginning and end. We worship you this day. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. Not like unto you, Lord. You reign over principality, over powers, over all authority. Lord Jesus, you rule and reign. Oh Lord, rule and reign in this meeting, oh Lord, today. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. Come and teach us your word. Let your word come with power, with authority, to destroy all the deceptions of darkness, all the forces of hell. All the misinterpretation of your word. Oh Lord, let your power come to give full understanding. Understanding of your word. And align us, oh God, to your will. Oh Lord, in holiness and righteousness. Ready to make heaven. Father, we pray to you, oh God. Align us to your will. Align us to your glory. Father, I pray to you, oh God. Blessed be your holy name. Glory to your holy name. Thank you, Lord, for what you're about to speak to us, oh Lord. We receive with thanksgiving. Be exalted, oh Lord. In Jesus. Jesus name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Our topic today is Victims of Deception. This is by Pastor Perica, the International Director of the Holiness River Movement Worldwide Short from Huremo. Hallelujah. Today is Sunday, May 29th, 2022. Our testing for the book of Matthew chapter 13, verse 3 to 7. I read and he spake many things unto them in parables saying behold a sower went forth to sow and when he sowed some seed fell by the wayside and the foes came and devoured them some fell upon stony places where they had not much earth and fought weeds they sprung up because they had no deepness of earth and when the sun was up they were scorched and because they had no roots they withered away and some fell among thorns and they and the thorns sprung up and choked them oh god have mercy in the name of jesus amen a key verse is talking about the book of second thessalonians chapter 2 verse 10 and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth the love of the truth that they might be saved May God help us that we'll open our heart to the truth of the word of God and we will receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Take our reading. When the devil became corrupt, the number one instrument that he uses on perfect angels was deception. When they came down on the earth by divine judgment, the instrument he used to pull men out of the garden was deception. Deception is a powerful tool Satan is using to destroy humanity. Today, many have been deceived and are agents of deception and the devil is using them. Second Timothy chapter three, verse 13 says, but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. May the Lord have mercy in the name of Jesus. Amen. Who are the victims of deception? Our point one here says, they that heard the word and did not understand it. They heard the word of God, but they could not assimilate it. They could not reach to the understanding that God that was in the heart of God for that particular word. They that heard the word of God and did not understand it. They are people who heard the word preaching of God and did not understand it. So the birds of the air came and picked them. They did not apply their hearts to the word of God. Neither did they accept the true revelations that gives that God gave to the church. They did not accept this revelation that God gives to the church in our time. Our second point here says, they that do not value what they have, they do not value the teachings, the divine presence and the great work of God among his elects. So the deceivers came in, removed them and carried them into darkness. These are the ones that are deceived those without solid foundation 
They did not, they were not yet rooted in God. Without solid foundation, they are those without strong conviction. They are not committed to those things taught, and they have not yielded themselves unto the true gospel and the doctrine of righteousness and holiness. These are the ones that fall away. Also, those that are careless with their soul, they are not careful for their soul. They are those that willfully reject the salvation of God. Surely, they do not value eternal life. They do not. They don't even know the value of it. That's why they were careless. Our last point here says, those who did not follow scriptural warning, they were not step, step fast enough to read the Bible, to search the scriptures, to look at the scriptures and set the, the word of God to be able to understand. They are those who do not follow scriptural warnings. Proverbs chapter 14 verse 7 says, Go from the presence of the foolish man. Go from him. When thou perceivest not in him the lips of knowledge. The Bible says evil, evil communication corrupt good manners. If you sit in the seat of the scornful, if you sit in the seat of the foolish that has no wisdom, you will become foolish. Before you, oh great wise man, become foolish, you will not know. Because you have been eating the foolishness and been laughing from the foolishness of the foolish. May the Lord have mercy on these people in the name of Jesus. Amen. The scriptures warns believer against false prophets and teachers. But many do not bother about this warning. They don't even bother about their own salvation. They do not even think where they will go or where they will end up one day. They do not bother. Matthew chapter 13 verse 19 says, When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one and catcheth it away that which was sown in his heart. Therefore, it is our responsibility to understand the word of God, to go and search the scripture, to make sure we receive. If you yet do not receive, it's because you do not ask. That is what the word of God says. You go and receive understanding of the word of God. You don't just hear preachers interpreting and misinterpreting the word of God without the Holy Spirit. Preachers after their belly, preachers after their own family, preachers after this word and not after the kingdom that is to come. For what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world? All the skyscrapers, all the jets, all the yachts, whatsoever you want to call it. The golds, the pearls, the silver, the brass, the diamonds, all the precious stones. What shall it profit you if you gain it all? Maybe you even have a nation. Maybe you are richer than America. What shall it profit you if you gain America? And lose your soul. That is a food for thought. What shall it profit you? It is better you live 100 years serving the Lord in His holiness and righteousness wholeheartedly than you live 1,000 years here on earth with the whole riches. But with your hands stained with blood, with your lips pierced with sword, with your heart covered with darkness, but you have money, you have affluence. Oh, but a sinner, and you die and go to hell forever and ever without no end. May the Lord have mercy in the name of Jesus. Amen. He said, and understand it did not. Then come in the wicked one and catch it away. That which was sown. Was it not sown? It was sown. But you were not diligent to understand it. It was sown, but not on a fertile ground. It was sown. He said, this is he which received seed by the wayside. Have you received seed by the wayside? Oh, the word of God has fallen into a fetter ground in your heart and is yielding and bearing fruits. Even if we can't see hundred fruits now, is it bearing at least 30, 
40, 50, 70. Is it growing or is bearing absolutely no fruit? People say, I'm a Christian. I'm a child of God. Hallelujah. But you can see the Jezebel finger in your hand. You can see their face like Jezebel himself. You can see their hair cut like the devil himself. You can see their body right inside their clothes. Yearning for men. Men are dying because of what women are putting on. Women are dying because of what men are also putting on. You can see a man put on a very tight fitted trouser. Pants. That whole his body is showing. And a woman from a distance is just melting away because of that man. Evil and corruption. Not just the outward alone. But your heart also counts. Your inward is very much important. Just like your outward. Hallelujah. Amen. I met someone today and I say, how do you know that a banana is ripe? Is it not from the outside? If a banana is ripe. It can never be green from the outside. It is either ripe or unripe. So you can tell from the outside. So the outside of a Christian is much more important just as the inside. May the Lord cleanse our inside. May the Lord give us grace. May the Lord give us understanding of his word. May the Lord open our eyes. Apostle Paul said, may the eyes of your understanding be a light in that you may know the hope of your calling. May the scales and the eyes of the people be broken off. May deception be removed from the hearts of the people of God. That men may seek God in his holiness. For the Bible says, without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Is he a holy thing for you to go to church with a short skirt? When you open your laps, your pastor, your brother, your sister will be seeing your white panties. Is he a holy thing? The Bible says, judge for yourself. Is it a holy thing? May the spirit of the Lord give you understanding. May this word not fall on a rocky ground. May it not fall on a stony ground. May it not fall on the wayside. But may it fall on the, on the fetter ground of your heart. And it will yield forth good fruits unto the Lord. And God be praised in your life in Jesus name. Amen. Our thought for the day says, do not be deceived. There are pastors that are deceivers. There are men and brethren that are deceivers. But go in your inward. Ask the Holy Spirit to speak to you about your eternity. If it comes today, will you go? Ask the Lord. And if you ask in sincerity, he will show you. I bless God for Pastor Parika, who God is using in this end time to speak the true word of God. We are not speaking about money, finance, faith. We speak about the word of God, for it is no what shall it profit us? It is not, it is of no profit to us here on earth to gain anything here on earth, but to gain everything in heaven. In heaven. In the name of Jesus, amen. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you, Father. We give you glory. We give you praise. Blessed be your holy name for speaking to us. Anyone in the bondage of captivity, in the bondage of deception, I decree that that deception be broken, that scale be broken off the eyes of your people. In the name of Jesus, I pray, oh God, that you will release understanding of the depths of your word to your people. In the name of Jesus, that they will see themselves the way you see them. Many see themselves and the thoughts that they are good. Jesus, may we see ourselves the way you see us. May it not be too late for us. Because when we get to the kingdom of God, the gates of heaven, we will see ourselves the way the Father sees us. And if he doesn't see us right, it is a castaway. But if he sees us right, glory, it is a coming into the kingdom. Father, we pray that we will not hear cast away at that day. At that last day, Kalehu Taya At the last day, I pray the kingdom by I pray the Father, may we not hear cast away, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We bless this day. Blessed be your holy name. 
receive glory, receive honor, receive praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a glorious Sunday. Take thoughts on this word. When the Lord comes, will you go with him? It is a thought for you to feed on all through today. You're going to your church. Is it preparing you for the kingdom of God? For God came to gather his people together to preach the Father. Is that what you are hearing? Are you hearing the white word? Or you are hearing how to gather the money of this word and get all the fame? Somebody told me what his pastor said. He said, my church is it's wealthy. We train people. Oh, we, we, this church, there is no poor person in this church. My church is for rich people. Like we train people to how to be rich because this is the blessings that is over us. But if the law come, it is most likely not even one will go to heaven. Ask yourself when you go to church today, look around and ask the Holy Spirit to tell you if he come, how many of you even you if you will make heaven may the lord reveal his word to us and fill us with the knowledge of his word may god bless you have a glorious day in jesus name amen